Today we will explore true facts about the eco column. Here is a picture of six eco columns. Nice bottles, aren't they? Here is a picture of eco columns that look very familiar, don't they? An eco column is pretty much an ecosystem in a bottle. It comes in a terrestrial layer, a decomposition layer, and an aquatic layer. It shows food chains. Food chain is pretty much what happens in nature. You start with a plant usually that gets eaten by a bug, then gets eaten by a bird, then gets eaten by like cats, let's just say. And then when they all die, they get decomposed back into the soil where everything starts from. Remember I said three levels? The terrestrial level is usually with plants, usually with chia seeds and grass. Remember, it's a bottle. Then there's a decomposition level with worms and soil. You usually have paper there if you are in the, into that worm bidding thing. And an aquatic level, which is usually fish. Sometimes you might include plants too, if you want food for them. Plants usually grow from the soil. I don't know, not really much to say about them at this point. These plants are growing up, upward towards the sun that is, for a process called photosynthesis. Some flowers have the ability called heliotropism, in which they face towards the sunlight to make photosynthesis more efficient for them. Photosynthesis is essential to a plant. It takes in light energy from the sun and CO2 from which we exhale. As a result, it produces oxygen for us to breathe and sugar for itself. Decomposers are organisms such as worms and mushrooms. They take whatever the detrivores leave behind and return it back into the soil. As a result, the soil is more nutritious for the plants and it provides healthier foods for primary consumers and the food chain. Aquatic layer include fish. That's it. It's fish in a bottle. We didn't feed our fish, but if you want to feed your fish, do what the picture says here with the koi. Cute koi. Because we were testing for water quality, we just left the fish in there with the plants. All the fish had to eat was what the plants provided. Pretty sad, but it's for science. Water quality testing test is for turbidity, pH or acidity, and water temperature, which is how hot or cold the water is. If your water quality is fine, it won't end up like this mud skipper here. Ugly looking thing, isn't it? To tie this back into the eco column, when your fish die, you can put the fish body in the decomposition layer, where the worms will decompose the body back into the soil, making the soil and the terrain for the worms more nutritious for them. The eco column shows a circle of life. No pun intended, but hopefully you get the gist of it. 